guess you're wondering why it took me so long to post a recent vid on my usual channel. Basically, the reason is is that my computer basically got fried by a whole bunch of temp files that I didn't even know were on my computer and worse still I didn't know how to get rid of them so they were building up so much to the point where they were completely slowing down my computer and after they were slowing down my computer it caused it to not work at all and it came to the point where I couldn't really start it up again until I had to look online to solve that problem which to solve the problem was to order a system disk from the HP company that I bought my computer from. I had to wait for that to come in the mail and I had to order that express and that wasn't cheap. And after I got the disk itself, I had to let the disk do its thing and restart the computer and um, like reboot it from everything. So for it to unlock it I had to have all basically all my data basically wiped clean basically but aside from that I did get my other programs that I use most of the time anyway for like virtual DJ and movie maker but I still gonna I'm still gonna have to buy another uh, I'm gonna have to buy a, another Microsoft Office the the 2013 one but um, that's probably not going to be that's probably going to be sometime in the future somewhere so I guess you're asking probably thinking what I've been doing between the time that I could I could actually make a video using my movie maker which the reason I couldn't make a movie after I did get my computer fixed is that I didn't know how I was supposed to get the movie maker. I thought I had to pay it was some sort of paid program like other programs like in like antivirus software or some other program you had to pay for. I was unaware that it was freeware that I could just that I could just use any which way of how I could use it for and I, and that, as soon as I found out that it was basically free anyway, I was I was just ecstatic. I just had to wait for the whole downloading process and ins installation on my computer to have really fully taken effect. So after that business was done, well, really before that, before I had to download it, I had to download my virtual DJ stuff and look for all the music that i written down in my notebook, which was a great idea in the first place. So when it came to me looking for the music that I do have currently, which is not a big group, but it's a lot of music within each group, like alternative, hip-hop, popular music, 80s rock, um, um, funk, uh, new wave, and coming soon, R and B. I do have a couple of lists, well, a couple of music for that type of playlist. So I'm gonna have to try to organize that and see how that turns out. But other than that, between doing that and uh, trying to figure out how to get my own movie maker, I was looking at a few games um, like Lost Planet Three. That that looks fairly straight. I mean, it's not like Lost Planet Planet 2 where it just jumps you into uh, the middle of someone else's story and you really don't know who the person you're playing as and you're just jumped into the story itself. In the third one, it's just basically you, you start off as some other guy. He's going around doing a whole bunch of tasks and um... Uh, just killing the acred and earning some cash <coughs> excuse me and and some tea energy but the thing I like about well they the thing that's new about the game is that there aren't any vs's any anymore as far as I can tell they're more like 
um, well, like more more mech. Like they don't. Well, the VSs in that game are are called rigs. They're just like basically like regular machines, except they don't have the uh, the the simple the real simplicity of all the other machines that were in the previous games, which I guess is, it's not bad. It's, it's a little different, but it's not bad. Um, the other game I was able to check out was Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That wasn't a pretty bad game, too. I know the Assassin's Creed series, it's a pretty killer series, literally. But, um, I did check that out. I did check out the gameplay. It's, it's fairly different. It feels like you put Assassin's Creed 2 and 3 together, but then come out with a whole different game that's further in the, that's a little bit in the past of 3, which is in the early 18th century. So, the the basic campaign and combat system of that game, it looks fairly straight. I mean, I, I wish I would actually played it, but, um, you know, duty calls with the whole DJing stuff so I can actually earn some money and um, get out there. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I've heard a lot of people rag on me about is, uh, like, are you getting an Xbox One or, or PS4? Which, I know, like, at first when the PS4 and the Xbox One came out, I mean, I... I'll admit, I'll, I want, well, I'm usually the, an Xbox guy, so obviously I'm going to buy the Xbox One. But I made the decision to be a little different this year than I am with my games because I wanted to try to invest in my money to buy equipment that's can be that can be used to make more money outside of my actual job so I can actually keep making more and more money to to provide uh, other needs that may come up, whether it's like medical or or any other type of needs. So I just made that decision and had to put on my big boy pants to um, actually go through with it. Which, by the way, I do have a majority of it. Like I do have like the can the. DJ controller, which is the the mini mixer, the the cables that I need to connect to my mixer that I've already previously bought. I still have that. I have one of the two stands I have, which maybe on Friday I'll buy the other stand and the other cable that I do need. I already have one of the speakers. I just have to maybe either either or depending on how much money I do get this season, I'm going to have to either wait till my uh, my tax refund comes in or I'm going to have to save maybe like $150 every uh, pay week for like the next two months to get the speaker that I need so I could actually uh, uh, pump out some music through those speakers and like lastly it's like a simple table just to house everything off but in regards to my speakers, I'm thinking about going to Comic-Con and buying a couple of decals for my speakers. So even when I do perform my music that I want to play for any particular type of people, I can actually show all my speakers without me saying them I could, I like I'm this type of person. So with those decals, I can just basically say like I'm a gamer I'm a fan of like Mass Effect or like I'm a Super Mario Brothers guy I mean even though that was my first game and along with a lot of other players that are out there but still it's more about the the decals are just more about taking my music and personalizing it that's what I think is going to probably differentiate me from most other DJs out there. Um, and other than that, I've I've been, other than all of those I've mentioned 
above it's just been pretty much work which is killer because I'm practically the only guy that really does anything anyway but oh hopefully I can find another job between the one I'm in and having some DJ gigs to earn extra money while maybe I'll be between jobs and from the next to the next job so that's my hope my and that's that's the only play I really have, so I'll just leave it to you like that. But um, other than other than that, that's pretty much it. So um, I'm I'm gonna have to leave you with something next time. So um, well, as always, people, stay frosty.